Welcome. Today, I'll show you how to fix the 503 service unavailable error in WordPress. This video is from kingsolutions.org.uk where you will find WordPress and small business solutions for non-techies. If you enjoy the content in this video, then consider clicking on the subscribe button. Ok, let us begin. The 503 service unavailable error is not in fact a WordPress specific error. It is a general server error related to the server settings of your WordPress hosting provider. Unfortunately, as this is a generic error code, it does not really tell you anything useful, other than there is a problem on the server. The error results gives no clues about what is causing the problem, which makes it extremely frustrating for webmasters, both experienced and newbies. Why do you get a 503 service unavailable error in WordPress? The 503 service unavailable error in WordPress occurs when the website you are on cannot connect to a proxy server, or the connection itself times out. The most common reasons for the error are Low server resources The server resources offered by WordPress hosting companies for each hosting account are not infinite. If the limit set cannot handle heavy usage, a 503 service unavailable error results. This error is particularly prevalent on shared hosting accounts. The scripts or programs running on the site are taking too long or are non-responsive. An external resource the site needs, like a web service or database, is slow or non-responsive. A programmatic error on the site is preventing locked resources from being released. The site may be under attack, possibly a brute force DDoS attack. The 503 service unavailable error will go away as soon as the underlying problem is corrected. If the error is caused by heavy usage, a server glitch, or a DDoS attack, then it could automatically disappear, so please try your request again in a few minutes. However, if your web server is unable to get a proper response from a PHP script, then it will keep occurring unless you find and disable the code causing the problem. For WordPress users, the misbehaving PHP script is undoubtedly contained in a WordPress plugin, WordPress theme, or custom code snippet. Check your WordPress hosting company. An obvious, but often overlooked reason for the 503 service unavailable error in WordPress, is maintenance on your server. Check with your hosting company before continuing. How to fix 503 service unavailable error in WordPress Assuming the error is continuous and not caused by heavy usage, a server glitch, or a DDoS attack, then the cause is probably some PHP script. The fix for this is really quite simple, but tedious. Disable all unnecessary PHP scripts one at a time until the misbehaving code is found. Step 1. Deactivate all WordPress plugins. As a WordPress plugin is the probable cause of the error, especially if you just installed one, the first thing you need to do is deactivate all your WordPress plugins. Unfortunately, as you cannot log into your WordPress dashboard due to the 503 server error, this task must be done using an FTP client or your cPanel file manager. Once connected to your server, you will need to rename the current plugins folder, and then create a new plugins folder. Go to the WP content folder, and rename the plugins folder, to plugins corrupt. Create a new folder, and name it plugins. All your WordPress plugins are now deactivated. Next, visit your WordPress site to see if this resolves the 503 server error. If the error has been resolved, then a plugin installed on your website was causing the error. Irrespective of the outcome, you now need to restore your plugin files. Still using your FTP client or cPanel file manager, restore the original plugins folder. Delete the empty plugins folder you just created. Rename the plugins corrupt folder to plugins. This will make all your installed plugins available to WordPress again. However, these plugins will remain deactivated, and must be reactivated from your WordPress dashboard. If a WordPress plugin was causing the 503 server error, you should be able to log into your WordPress admin area. When you have logged in, go to the plugins page. Activate your plugins one at a time. Visit several pages on your site to check usability. Repeat until you find the plugin causing the 503 server error. When found, disable the plugin. You may have to revert to your FTP client or cPanel file manager again for this step. Finally, report the problem to the plugin author. If this step resolved the 503 error problem, then you do not need to follow the rest of these instructions. You are done. Switch to a default WordPress theme. 
If deactivating plugins didn't resolve the issue, the next step is to switch to a default WordPress theme. This will deactivate your current, active WordPress theme. Connect to your WordPress site using an FTP client or cPanel file manager. Once connected, go to the WP Content Themes folder. Check that you have one of the default WordPress themes installed. Any of the default WordPress themes from 2010 to 2018 will do. If you do not have one of the default WordPress themes, then you will need to upload a default theme to your website before continuing. Next, download your current active WordPress theme to your computer as backup. After downloading your current active theme, delete it from your website. With your theme deleted, the default WordPress theme will be automatically activated. Check your website to make sure the 503 service unavailable error is resolved. If the 503 service unavailable error was not caused by a WordPress plugin or WordPress theme, then take the following actions. Check your site's error log for more information. Check if temporary files, cache files, or session files are building up somewhere like your TMP directory. Contact your WordPress hosting company and ask for help. Their tech support may be able to pinpoint the cause of the problem. Check your traffic in Google Analytics to see if you are getting more traffic than usual. Do not assume the problem is a lack of system resources. Although it is tempting to automatically assume this is the problem, it is rarely the case. Check for slow database queries or locking issues. Make sure you do not have rewrite logs enabled. Well, I hope you liked this tutorial and found it helpful. If you did, then click on the like button below, and leave a comment. If you want to receive more helpful videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and check out the King Solutions website for more useful information. See you soon.